only area in the tropics that we're watching is Alex. If you were up early this morning, 1 a.m., the Hurricane Center upgraded PTC-1 to Tropical Storm Alex with winds right now of 65 miles an hour, actually a little stronger than we thought it would get once it moved out into the open Atlantic waters. But the system is moving away from land, so the only area that could be impacted from a still uh, kind of well sheared storm, again, there's a center, all of the thunderstorm activity is well removed from the center would be Bermuda over the course of the next day and a half or so before all of that rainfall is off to the east and elsewhere in the Atlantic. We are not expecting any development. Something was very interesting. I was pointing this out on Friday with PTC one. Now Alex was even though it moved over that deep warm loop current. It did nothing. The environment across the Gulf of Mexico was very hostile. And what's kind of interesting that once it got into relatively milder water, that's where it exploded. I wouldn't say exploded in strength, but that's where it got better organized. It was the upper atmosphere that played the big role in the development of the storm, not the warm surface water temperatures. That's just kind of one part. It really needs all of these things for tropical development. The absence of dry air, low to no wind shear at all, as well as those warm sea surface temperatures. Just having one of those does not mean you're going to get a developing storm system. So all that hype about the loop current early in the season kind of overplayed because this system moved right over the loop current and it did absolutely nothing. So once Alex moves on, the tropics look to stay fairly quiet for the next five plus days. Let's keep that trend going as long as possible. A few isolated challenges.